Hello friends and viewers, this is Radnorok with GameForce and I'm going to redo the add-on video I just did just because my microphone settings were all off I was recording from the wrong mic and it sounded very bad so I'm going to redo it so it doesn't sound so terrible and uh, we're just going to go over pretty much the same stuff so you can watch either one uh, just know that this one has better audio quality and maybe I'll just delete the other one but uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at what we're doing here. As you can see, I don't have the basic UI anymore that Blizzard gives you when you first bring up WoW. I kind of changed stuff around and I'm using a few different mods and add-ons just to kind of make it the way I see it. Uh, so I think it's easier just to keep my view right on my character and just so I don't have to look at my hotbar so long. So let's go ahead and look at the first one you might have noticed which is Bartender. Uh, bartender is pretty much a completely customizable um, hotbar, move it wherever I want to, put it into a whole bunch of different uh, verticals and I can make it uh, six rows and that many buttons if I wanted to. Um, so. Uh, you just fiddle with these and you can put them into a whole bunch of different places. You can change the size, you can uh, make it really small. I don't know why anyone would make it that small, but you can if you want to. And uh, you can change the padding in them. So, I want to. And well, I mean, let's just go back and put this there. I mean, there's not really a whole, much, whole bunch to it. You can change your stance bar, but say you do want to keep the blizzard kind of standard a little bit, you can go ahead and bring up this standard art bar, uh, blizzard art bar back and uh, you can move your XP bar from the bottom of the screen or wherever you want it. You can put this wherever. Um, I keep it at the bottom screen, but you could just put it right back into its normal position above the um, hotkeys on the um, art bar. So let's go ahead and get rid of the art bar now. And there's a bunch of other stuff you can put up here, such as a reputation bar and a uh, vehicle bar and such, and the pet bar that I have down here, since I don't really plan on having a pet as a warrior. So, um,. Let's go ahead and close out of this and talk about our other add-on that we've been using. And let's look up uh, Shadowed Unit Frames. Alright, so this is Shadowed Unit Frames. Uh, this is kind of the... Uh, and you'll notice that this is not the standard one that you get, which is kind of really very big and very blocky. And it's got this big, giant uh, photo portrait on here. And I like this one because it's a little bit more streamlined. The... And there are a few other things that you can actually bring up onto this. So say I wanted to like have my bosses up here. So say you're in a raid. These are all the different raid bosses. And it has all of their uh, statistics, such as their health and their mana or whatever. So and their debuffs. It's all, it's all on here. So we can get rid of that. And this is really useful for healers. Um, I, I think just because this there's a whole bunch of stuff you can customize it and you can just pretty much make it however you want over here you have the target of target and the targets targets target so you can have all this you can change the colors so I wanted to go to general I can go to colors I changed my rage, rage color to this like really deep red rather than um, it was kind of orangish the way before and um, so you can change however you want these to look in these different profiles so you can save a profile and set it to all the other characters if you want to and so I mean, that there's not you can fiddle with this all you want it's really easy to understand a lot of the uh, add-ons out there kinda get really confusing they just have way too many um, settings that you can change and it just kinda makes it frustrating and difficult to get around and some of them are counterintuitive and so it kinda bugs me but I like using, I find the simplest ones and I just try to make those, even though they might not be as powerful. This is a very powerful one and very popular, but I try to use the more popular and easier ones. So let's go ahead and um, lock this now. And obviously right down here I have a uh, recount. And everyone kind of knows recount. It's very simple and you just download it and you'll figure it out. Another one I use is bag one. The name kind of signifies uh, kind of spells out for you what it does. It lumps all your bags that you have right here into one entire bag. And so you don't have to deal with like having one all these different boxes. It just makes it all in one bag. And uh, I was using Arch Inventory for a while, but I was kind of... I think this one's a lot more pleasing on the eye. And there's a lot less going on. And I kind of like simplicity for the most part. So bag one. That is bag one. Alright. Another one I use is Omni CC which pretty much gives me a countdown in here 
of how many seconds is left in numbers. So it'll say like 5 seconds, 4 seconds, 15 seconds, and another one I use is Spell Flash. I don't use Spell Flash all that often just because it's uh, very irritating, but here it is right here. You can see that it says my charge, I should use it, and I should also cast my Battle Shout. So let's go ahead and use my Battle Shout, use my charge, and you can see how both of them got a countdown right there. So. They both got a countdown. This one's on 10 seconds. This one's on, five, on 52. When this gets to 5, it'll turn red and get bigger. And there you can see that it's letting you know that it's almost done. And there we go. And, and, and they're, they're very self-explanatory. I don't use um, Spell Flash all that often unless I'm in a raid that I know I'm going to have to be moving around away from AoEs from the boss and such. Just because it's very enthusiastic and just kind of very annoying and so I mean I just kind of prefer just having Omni CC I just think it's a little bit easier just to see because when you have both of those going on there's just so much going on down there and so I'd never um, recommend having them both up I think it would just give you a headache but having maybe one up either having uh, Spell Flash or Omni CC just one of them up at a time would just uh, be nice you know so, uh, that's all I have to say for the add-ons. If there are any of these add-ons that you want me to go over in just one video, um, I'm sorry that I can only make 10 minute videos for right now because when I, I got a virus on my computer, so I had to delete all the files on my computer. Like, I had to delete everything. I did a complete wipe. Just because I couldn't find the stupid virus and neither could any antivirus software. And for some reason, my Bandicam uh, authentication just got lost out of nowhere. And so I don't know what happened with that. So I'm, gonna, I'm working on getting it back, but I don't know how long it's going to take or if I'm going to be able to. I just don't want to have to buy it again. So for right now, I'm just living to 10 minute videos, which is kind of unfortunate. But if there are any of these, uh, such as Bartender or um, Shadowed Unit Frames, which are probably the two that you might want to have gone into in depth, just uh, leave me a comment or suggestion below, and I'll go ahead and get to those. And also, if there are any other add-ons that you don't really know about if you want to try or um, you want me to review them I'll go ahead and review those add-ons for you as well just uh, leave a comment or suggestion below and I'll be sure to uh, check those and try to get a video up as soon as possible um, hopefully within a day or so of you posting that um, just because I have a lot of time on my hands and being that I can only make 10 minute videos it's not going to take me a whole lot of time to upload them anymore so um, let's go ahead and uh, so yeah, I mean that, that's pretty much it. Um, also, look for more videos about leveling Balrog. We are just doing dungeons. We're not doing any questing. Just kind of a little bit of questing in between dungeons while we're queuing. Just because as a DPS, it does take a long time to get into a dungeon. And most of you know, just because there's a whole bunch of DPS in the queues, it just takes a long time. And I'm kind of sick of tanking, so we're just leveling up a DPS. Most people want to start as a DPS anyway because there's not really much responsibility in it. So, there you go, guys. As long as you don't make mistakes, that's the only DPS. Uh, well, there's other ones, but pretty much your main role is not to make mistakes and just try to get as much damage, damage as you can. So, that's about it, guys. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video and that it was educational and stuff. And uh, hope to see you back. Again, this is Radnorok with Game Force uh, signing off.